welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Taja and today I'm installing a 5x5 lace closure wig for the very first time. So I went in with the got to be free spray. You know, I put it on my edges. I should have put a little bit more. I noticed that later on that the main purpose of that part was to really get the cap to stay on my head. And now I know that. So then I went in with the blow dryer, you know, to get everything to be sticking to my head. Then I went in with the foundation. I shouldn't have did this step um, right after because, you know, the got to be glue was still a little tacky, but it's okay because now I know. But I put the foundation on just to make sure that it was blending. But then I began to put the foundation on my lace just to make sure that everything was, you know, the same, same color so it can look like scalp when I put it on my head. Then I began to cut the cap. I should have cut the ears like before I even started. So if you guys are, you know, doing this for the first time, cut the ears first so that the cap can stay on your head whenever, you know, you put it on the got to be glue spray and all of that. But I cut the little ear holes, you know, just to, you know, get it, get it together. Then I began to cut the cap. As you can see, it's not really sticking on that side. Like I should have put more got to be glue there. But on this side, you know, you see it's the cap is sticking to my head. But yeah, it's okay because I ended up doing a side part. So the other side was just kind of a mess up, but it's okay because I just put glue on one side of my head. Then I began to cut the cap a little bit more just to get those little rigged parts out. Um, you guys, comment down below what other things I could do to make my cap look more just snatch. You know, I wanted to look like it was just blended very well, but it wasn't giving me the blended vibe. So y'all, comment down below like some other things I can do to make my cap look like it's just laid to my head. But I cut the rest of the cap off from the back so you know that when we show when I put my wig on. And then I went in with the alcohol um, to just clean up my, you know, my edges to make sure nothing was on my head that could mess up my wig from sticking out. It should be sticking. And then I used the kiss glue, you know, to do, to get the wig to be laid on my head. And I would say this glue did very well. Like my, my wig stayed on for like a week. You know, and I was like, wow, this glue was really bum. But I put two um, layers of the glue on my head. I waited till it got a little clear. Then I put some more on there. So in total, I did two different layers of the glue. And I blow dried each time for like 20 seconds. And yes, guys. Then I went in with the, you know, the end of the comb to make sure that the glue was blending into my actual forehead and on the ball cap. Okay, so I finally was able to put the wig on my head. Um, it looks so good, guys. Like, it's already, like, blending so well into my scalp. Like, it looks so good. You know, I was taking the comb and pressing the wig, the lace, into, like, the glue. Yeah, it was looking so good. I was like, wow. The girl that did this wig did an awesome job. I'll link it down below, too, if you guys um, are wondering where... It came from then I took my little scarf and I tied it so that my wig can actually melt and I left the scarf on for about 15 minutes I want to say just so it could be laid so after that I began to um, cut the lace off of the wig and as y'all can see I already had like baby hairs on both sides so I was trying not to cut off the actual baby hairs because they look so cute. But like I end up cutting one off. And y'all gonna see because I was really struggling with this part. Like I was using the razor, right? But I couldn't like position my hands in the right way to get the lace to just come off and not cut the baby hair off, y'all. I was struggling. But y'all just bear with me on this part. <laughs>
so as y'all can see this was the last little piece i had to get off so i can just get on to the next step y'all this part took so long i went in with the got to be glue spray to spray that little the little um lace down a little bit but y'all comment down below like how to make that the side of the lace like actually like stay down because i could not figure it out i went in with the blow dryer to blow that part blow dry that part down a little more so it can like look like it wasn't sticking out. I don't know. It kind of does still look like it's sticking out. As you can see like right there. That little end of the lace. Y'all probably like what? What is she talking about? But just look closely y'all. Because it's sticking out. And I didn't know what to do. I tried to spray with the got to be glue spray. But it just wasn't working. But as y'all can see the lace is looking really good. <laughs> So I had a little um, got to be glue spray on my forehead and I took a little alcohol and got a cotton swab and got it off my forehead. So if y'all have that problem with y'all got to be glue leaking on your skin, just take a little alcohol and it'll come right on up. I had to um, redo my baby hairs because y'all I cut a whole baby hair off while I was trying to cut the lace. I don't know how it happened. It just kind of happened. So I had to recreate the baby hair and this was kind of tricky for me because i wanted to get it to look like the other baby hair but i don't know it's it kind of did it kind of didn't i used the got to be um glue edge control to do this step and i should have used the mousse first because the edge control is like very sticky so as you can see i went in with some mousse so i can get it to just lay kind of how i wanted it to it doesn't look the best, but it looks okay to say it was my first time. Then I did the other baby hair. This baby hair was perfect because it was already done. So I just swooped it on up with the mousse. And then I went in with a little of the um, got to be glue edge control and got it to, you know, be molded. Then I went in with the blow dryer to make sure that they stayed. Now then I ended up wrapping my, um, my lace again with the little scarf so that it could just melt once again as y'all can see the part is like very deep so i went in with the wax stick to make sure that i was getting away getting rid of any of flyaways that i had and i went in with a hot flat iron because i don't have a hot comb so i used the flat iron to just press everything down to make sure everything looks laid and then i began to style my hair um this hair is straight so I went in with my flat iron and just got it to look bone straight. I went in with a little more mousse just so I can get my hairstyle how I wanted it to be. I wanted my part, well my bang to like kind of like go up a little bit. I was trying to get it how I wanted it to but I don't know y'all. I'm not a stylist. Then I took a little more mousse just to get it to look very laid on the sides. I sprayed some got to be glue on my part so it can look very defined. And I combed it out a little bit, you know, so it won't look too hard, too stiff. And yes, y'all, it's looking so good. Like, what? I really did that. Like, what? This is my first time, and it actually looks pretty decent. Like, wow. Okay, sis, get into the hair. Get into the lace, because it's laid. Like, it looks like it's mine. Oh, look, let's get into it. The lace is laid. Like, lace? Lace wear. But thank y'all so much for watching this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, I had a good time doing this. Bye.